Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today we are going to learn about the somatic and autonomic nervous system in detail. Uh, in this diagram, you can see the neuron which is made in black color. Uh, this represents the somatic nervous system. In the somatic nervous system, the neuron or the neuronal fiber may directly rise from the brain through brain stem or from any part of the spinal cord. The neuron may rise from brain stem directly from the brain or from any part of the spinal cord and uh, after arising from the brain or brain stem or from spinal cord it make a junction with a muscle which is connected with the bone it make a junction with the muscle which is connected with the bone then that muscle and that connection will be called neuromuscular junction this will be called neuromuscular junction I'm going to write it neuromuscular junction this neuromuscular junction uh, will be there for the somatic neuron which arise from brain or from any part of the spinal cord and uh, over here the neurotransmitter secreted by the neuronal ending uh, will be the acetylcholine acetylcholine will be secreted over here at the neuromuscular junction Acetyl choline will be secreted at the neuromuscular junction. All the somatic neuron which arise either from the brain or from the, the spinal cord will make a junction with the neuro with the muscle connected with the bone. And that uh, at that junction, at that neuromuscular junction, the neurotransmitter secreted will be acetyl acetylcholine. So acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter of the uh, of the somatic nervous system. So uh, this was the about the neurotransmitter of the uh, somatic nervous system. Now uh, about the uh, about the autonomic nervous system. In the autonomic nervous system, the this red color neuron which arises from the uh, brain stem from the brain stem or which arises from the from the sacral region of the spinal cord this red color neuron represent the parasympathetic nervous system in this parasympathetic nervous system the neuron make connection with uh, some other neuron in the periphery and this is the cell body of another neuron and make a ganglion make a ganglion so this connection, uh, in the, uh, this connection, there is a ganglion. Ganglion mean cluster of cell bodies. Ganglion, you should be aware of this word. Ganglion mean group of cell bodies outside outside the central nervous system. Group of cell bodies outside the CNS or group of cell bodies in the peripheral nervous system that is called ganglion now, so over here we should uh, um, we should know that the ganglion mean the connection between the um, the axonal uh, nerve ending of uh, this neuron with less with the cell body of the uh, of another neuron so this uh, space this gap this connection this gap is called synapse the gap between the uh, cell body and the uh, neuronal ending of another neuron that is called synapse that is called what synapse synapse mean the junction of uh, the cell body of uh, one neuron with the uh, with the neuronal ending of another neuron or the junction between two exons or the the junction between or the you can say that the gap between uh, the gap which is connected with the help of neurotransmitter the gap between two neurons uh, and the, the gap between two connecting new neuron which may be between the uh, exon exon which may be between the cell body and exon which may be between the exon and dendrite which may be between the uh, dendrites and dendrites also so over here this this is between the uh, this synapse is made uh, this gap this synoptic clipped or uh, this synapse is made between the uh, exon of one neuron with the cell body of another neuron so this is a typical uh, 
um, synapse at this synapse uh, what will be secreted over here the neurotransmitter secreted will be acetylcholine once again the neurotransmitter secreted over here will be acetylcholine and the neurotransmitter secreted over here uh, this neuron will make junction with uh, smooth muscle and the neurotransmitter secreted over here will also be acetylcholine so same is the case with this neuron the neuronal um, the neuronal junction and the junction between the cell body and exon of uh, another neuron uh, that is called synapse and this synapse the neurotransmitter secreted will be the acetylcholine and over here once again the acetylcholine will be secreted uh, at the junction between the uh, smooth muscle and the neuronal ending so the neurotransmitter of the uh, parasympathetic nervous system will be what will be acetylcholine so acetylcholine is the acetylcholine is for parasympathetic parasympathetic nervous system okay uh, the parasympathetic nervous system uh, at the parasympathetic nervous system at the ganglion or at the junction between the muscle and the neuronal ending the what will be secreted the neurotransmitter secreted will be the acetylcholine just like uh, the somatic nervous system um, this was uh, about the neurotransmitter of the um, the parasympathetic nervous system now coming toward the, the sympathetic nervous system in the sympathetic nervous system the neurotransmitter secreted will be the uh, the in the sympathetic nervous system the neurotransmitter secreted at the ganglion this is a ganglion this is another ganglion and uh, the ganglion will be will be acetylcholine acetylcholine will be secreted at the ganglion of the sympathetic nervous system at the uh, sympathetic nervous system uh, this should this is very important that uh, the sympathetic nervous system in the sympathetic nervous system the uh, neurotransmitter at uh, neurotransmitter at ganglion ganglion will be what that will be acetylcholine acetylcholine but the neurotransmitter is secreted at the uh, muscle at the connection of muscle and the nerve ending will not be acetylcholine that will be there will be noradrenaline or norepinephrine so the this is a pre synaptic neuron or pre ganglionic neuron and this is post ganglionic neuron so the pre ganglionic neuron will secrete the acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter the pre ganglionic neuron will secrete acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter this also this is also sympathetic nervous system this is also neuron of sympathetic nervous system this will also secrete the acetylcholine this is pre ganglionic neuron so the pre ganglionic all the pre ganglionic neuron of the sympathetic nervous system will secrete what uh, acetylcholine but the post ganglionic neuron of the sympathetic nervous system uh, with the smooth muscle will secrete the noradrenaline over here with with some exceptions also i am going to talk about that later but uh, the post ganglionic neuron uh, will secrete the norepinephrine at the neuromuscular junction norepinephrine post ganglionic neuron of sympathetic nervous system uh, that will secrete what norepinephrine norepinephrine okay the post ganglionic neuron of the sympathetic nervous system uh, 
uh, will secrete what that will secrete the norepinephrine and that norepinephrine is not for all the muscles or not for all the postganglionic neurons uh, there is some exception uh, the only muscle which is uh, present in the uh, in the sweat glands these are the muscles which are present in the sweat gland um, were there the postganglionic neuron the postganglionic neuron which uh, give uh, nerve supply to the uh, sweat gland will secrete the acetylcholine this is the acetylcholine the only uh, the only postganglionic neuron ganglionic neuron which supply blood to the uh, sweat gland which supply a connection with the supply signal to the sweat gland uh, will secrete what that will secrete acetylcholine this is the uh, this is the exception of the sympathetic nervous system of the neurotransmitter uh, or over here the acetylcholine will be secreted uh, the postganglionic neuron which supply uh, signal to the sweat gland will secrete the acetylcholine while all the postganglionic neuron of the uh, sympathetic nervous system will secrete uh, the norepinephrine as the neurotransmitter but over here on here uh, this neuron supply this this is free ganglionic neuron and this piece free ganglionic neuron make a connection make a ganglion with the chromaffin cells the cells inside the adrenal medulla are called chromaffin cells these are called what chromaffin cells now uh, the chromaffin cells in the uh, adrenal medulla in the adrenal medulla make a ganglion with the with what uh, with the pre pre synaptic neuron or the pre ganglionic neuron of the uh, sympathetic nervous system and over here again uh, which as i have told you that uh, all in all the ganglion the uh, neurotransmitter secreted will be the acetylcholine over here the acetylcholine will be uh, secreted but the acetylcholine will be secreted by the uh, preganglionic neuron to activate the chromaffin cells the preganglionic ganglionic neuron of adrenal medulla will secrete what uh, will secrete acetylcholine but uh, after secreting the acetylcholine, the chromaffin cells will be activated and the chromaffin cells inside the uh, adrenal medulla will secrete what? That will secrete two types of neurotransmitter, the norepinephrine plus epinephrine. Now this is very uh, much clear that uh, the preganglionic neuron will secrete acetylcholine and after secreting the acetylcholine it will activate the chromaffin cell of the adrenal medulla and the adrenal medulla uh, will secrete what this will secrete the uh, this will secrete over here this this has secreted some neurotransmitter and these neurotransmitter are two types these are epinephrine and norepinephrine we can also call them uh, adrenaline and noradrenaline. Um, so the epinephrine uh, is considered as the uh, as a hormone which is directly secreted into the blood both of these are directly secreted into the blood but the epinephrine or adrenaline is considered as hormone because this is not uh, secreted at any junction this is secreted directly into the blood while the norepinephrine uh, may work as a hormone over here and uh, work as the uh, neurotransmitter over here norepinephrine work as the neurotransmitter over here and work as a 
uh, a hormone over here because all uh, entities which are secreted directly into the blood for their action uh, so those are hormones so the norepinephrine is uh, working over here as a hormone and working over here as a neurotransmitter uh, while the epinephrine work as a hormone uh, over here and the epinephrine is not secreted any uh, anywhere else in the in the central nervous system or peripheral nervous system but only secreted over here but uh, as a hormone which is secreted directly into the blood uh, so this was um, all about the neurotransmitter of the uh, uh, neurotransmitter of the autonomic and somatic nervous system and uh, I have already told you about the length of the uh, presynaptic neuron of the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system the presynaptic neuron of the sympathetic nervous system is al is uh, always short and the postsynaptic neuron is always long the presynaptic neuron of the parasympathetic nervous system is always long and the postsynaptic neuron of the uh, parasympathetic nervous system is always short uh, now coming towards the next slide and this slide uh, we can see this slide is very important uh, from from pharmacological point of view uh, because in this slide uh, first of all uh, we are going to explain the uh, somatic nervous system in the somatic nervous system the somatic neuron which make uh, the somatic nerve ending which make uh, neuromuscular junction with the skeletal muscle uh, which secrete the acetylcholine as I, I have told you in the previous slide it secrete the acetylcholine but this acetylcholine will activate what this acetylcholine will activate the uh, this acetylcholine will uh, activate the receptors which are present in this neuromuscular junction in the muscles in the nerve and the muscle end plate in the muscle now the the receptor which uh, bind with the with this uh, neurotransmitter these receptors are called nicotinic receptor this is one of the type of nicotinic rece receptor two types of nicotinic receptors uh, in the nervous system are there uh, one type of nicotinic receptor is uh, this one which is present in on the uh, skeletal muscle uh, and which are activated by the somatic neuron uh, so this somatic neuron activates uh, uh, or this somatic uh, nerve fiber activate the uh, nicotinic receptor by the acetylcholine so this this is activated by the acetylcholine acetylcholine uh, will up somatic neuron will activate will activate what will activate nicotinic receptor on the skeletal muscle and these nicotinic receptors are simply called known as these nicotinic receptors are simply known as n capital small n nm nicotinic receptor nm nicotinic receptor and m represent the muscular junction and n represent the uh, the nicotinic receptor uh, so this nicotinic receptor is a, a type of nicotinic receptor which, uh, which is present the type of nicotinic receptor which is present on the muscle on the skeletal muscle are called nm nicotinic receptor uh, this is very much important uh, you should learn about uh, this uh, for your pharmacology uh, so uh, this uh, uh, over, over here you can also see that uh, the nm receptor nm nicotinic receptor are also present over here which which are activated by the acetylcholine uh, now uh, coming towards the para parasympathetic nervous system then in the parasympathetic nervous system uh, first of all in the ganglion uh, this should also be kept in mind that all the ganglion in all the ganglion 
the neurotransmitter as the neurotransmitter secreted in all the ganglion are the acetylcholine acetylcholine are secreted in all the neurotra in all the, uh, the ganglion as a neurotransmitter or here the neurotransmitter is acetylcholine in the parasympathetic nervous system or here the acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter in sympathetic nervous system in the ganglion or here the acetylcholine is secreted as a, a neurotransmitter in the ganglion of the sympathetic nervous system and again over here the uh, neurotransmitter uh, acetylcholine is secreted as a neurotransmitter of the sympathetic nervous system and again over here the acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter so as all the um, neurotransmitter secreted in the ganglion are the acetylcholine so all the receptors all the receptors which are present in the ganglion uh, and the cell body of the ganglion which are activated by the acetylcholine are the nicotinic receptors these are nicotinic receptors this is nicotinic receptor these are nicotinic receptor these are nicotinic receptor or here the nicotinic receptor are present on the on the chromaffin cells which are activated by the acetylcholine and over here the nicotinic receptors are present uh, on the uh, postganglionic neuronal cell body uh, so all the all the cell body of the post ganglionic neuron will have what will have nicotinic receptors and uh, these nicotinic receptors are uh, are called n n in capital n and small n uh, the nicotinic receptor which are present in the neuromuscular junction was n m while the nicotinic receptor which are present in the ganglion are n n these are nicotinic receptor both of these nicotinic receptor all the nicotinic receptor are activated by the acetylcholine are activated by the acetylcholine uh, now uh, coming towards the and the postganglionic neuron the postganglionic neuron of the parasympathetic nervous system you can see over here and you can also see over here the the postganglionic neuron of the parasympathetic nervous system uh, this secret the acetylcholine acetylcholine will be secreted over here but the uh, but the receptor which will be activated by the acetylcholine over here will be the will be muscarinic receptor will be muscarinic receptor this is called muscarinic receptor all the all the post post ganglionic neuron of parasympathetic nervous system secrete what that secrete acetylcholine acetylcholine and that acetylcholine uh, bind with bind with muscarinic muscarinic receptor uh, those acetylcholine secreted by the these acetylcholine are these acetylcholine uh bind with bind with what these bind with the muscarinic receptor and these muscarinic receptor the muscarinic receptor will be either the muscarinic receptor will be either m1 or m2 m1 or m2 these are two types of muscarinic receptor which are present in the uh, peripheral nervous system and the uh, Uh, parasympathetic nervous system uh, so the muscarinic receptor uh, are activated by the acetylcholine or here in the parasympathetic nervous system now coming towards the sympathetic nervous system in the sympathetic nervous system the postganglionic neuron uh, all the postganglionic neuron of the sympathetic nervous system uh, secrete the norepinephrine except except the neuron which supply connection with the which supply signal to the, the sweat gland uh, i'm going to write it over here 
they took all the post ganglionic neurons of the sympathetic nervous system will secrete will secrete what will secrete norepinephrine except except what except the nerve of sweat gland the nerve will supply signal to the sweat gland and nerve of sweat gland so all of them uh, uh, all the post ganglionic neuron uh, will secrete the norepinephrine and that norepinephrine will activate uh, a receptor and that receptor over here will be uh, the adrenergic receptor the norepinephrine i'm going to write in detail over here the norepinephrine will activate what activate the adrenergic receptor the norepinephrine will activate the adrenergic receptor and adrenergic receptor are present to where are present on the smooth muscle and the smooth muscle upward up and the smooth muscle uh, to which the postganglionic uh, neuron gap connection over here the this is also uh, this this receptor is also adrenergic receptor this is also adrenergic receptor and this is also adrenergic receptor this is also on this is on the smooth muscle and this is also on the smooth muscle so this adrenergic receptor will be activated by the norepinephrine this adrenergic receptor will always be activated by the norepinephrine and that norepinephrine will be secreted by the uh, postganglionic neuron over here this is this may be activated by the epinephrine uh, or norepinephrine but these uh, norepinephrine and epinephrine travel in the blood and then combine with the receptor uh, which may be in the heart which may be in the lungs uh, and these adrenergic receptor are either uh, these adrenergic receptor uh, will be uh, alpha 1 alpha 2 beta beta 1 beta 2 or beta 3 so the alpha 1 alpha 2 um, beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 these these are the uh, the receptors of the these are adrenergic receptor which are activated by the epinephrine or non-epinephrine norepinephrine uh, norepinephrine strongly bind with the alpha receptor while and uh, loosely bind with the loosely activate or bind with the beta receptor but the epinephrine can bind with equal potential um, to both the alpha and beta receptor the, the norepinephrine uh, is secreted over here and these norepinephrine are combined with the these uh, norepinephrine are combined with the alpha 1 receptor Th this receptor may be alpha 1 this receptor may be alpha 1 this may be alpha 2 which may be alpha 3 this may be beta 1 beta 2 or beta 3 uh, so uh, among the five type of receptor these may be uh, one of them uh, so this was all about the receptors which are present in the uh, autonomic nervous system and somatic nervous system so in the next slide in this slide we can see uh, that uh, the preganglionic uh, neuron um, the preganglionic neuron of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system are 
are myelinated these are myelinated uh, while the postganglionic neuron of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system is non-myelinated non non-myelinated and myelinated but the, the uh, but the somatic nervous system the neuron of the the other nerve fiber of the uh, somatic nervous system is uh, is heavily myelinated from the uh, from the point uh, from where it arises to the neuromuscular junction, it is highly myelinated. Uh, the presynaptic neuron will be the or the preganglionic neuron of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system uh, will be lightly myelinated. This is this is lightly myelinated. This is also lightly myelinated as compared to the somatic nervous system. This is uh, so the myelinated. What will be myelinated? the somatic somatic neuron will be highly myelinated uh, while the mm, the pre ganglionic of autonomic nervous system will be non myelinated or unmyelinated non myelinated So no, this this will be this this will be uh, this will be lightly myelinated. This will be lightly myelinated, and this will be heavily myelinated. Heavily myelinated, and the the postganglionic postganglionic neuron of autonomic nervous system uh, will be. Will be non myelinated or unmyelinated. Now, this is very clear. The somatic neuron throughout will be will be will be heavily myelinated. This is somatic neuron and this is somatic neuron. This is heavily myelinated by the Schwann cells. This is heavily myelinated by the Schwann cell. Uh, the pre ganglionic neuron. Of the, of the autonomic nervous system all the free ganglionic neuron of the autonomic nervous system will be lightly myelinated these are lightly myelinated while the post ganglionic neuron of the autonomic nervous system uh, will be non myelinated will be non myelinated uh, now coming towards the last slide uh, in this slide in this slide we can see uh, that uh, the the somatic nervous system this is somatic nervous system the somatic nervous system the neuron of the somatic nervous system is controlled by the by the cerebral cortex this is cerebral cortex this may connection with the cerebrum this may connection with the with what this may connection with the cerebrum this is controlled by the cerebral cortex all the somatic neuron are the, are controlled by the cerebral cortex uh, while the uh, you can see that the autonomic nervous system this is part of the autonomic nervous system this is part of the autonomic nervous system in the autonomic nervous system the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system is controlled by the hypothalamus is the controlled by the hypothalamus so uh, last uh, writing the somatic neuron controlled by the cerebral cortex and the autonomic nervous system is controlled by mainly or majorly controlled by the hypothalamus it is majorly controlled by the hypothalamus so uh, this was all about the uh, autonomic nervous system and somatic nervous system uh, so once again uh, these are nicotinic receptors these are muscarinic receptors, these are nicotinic receptors, these are adrenergic receptors, and these are nicotinic receptors. These are once again nicotinic receptor, while this is the muscarinic receptor in the sympathetic nervous system. This is nicotinic receptor, and uh, this is not nicotinic, this is adrenergic receptor. This is uh, muscarinic receptor, and this is nicotinic receptor. This is also nicotinic receptor, but uh, NM receptor of nicotinic.